What's up guys? Today I've got a review of the Keep Cup. It's a travel mug for coffee, tea, or any old drink I suppose. And it's pretty simple. Just um, this is one of the things I hate about it. Oh, fuck. It's just a glass cup with a cork ring that is, I guess, glued around the side. So nothing really special about that element of it. It's not going to keep your coffee hot. It's not really made for that. The purpose of the keep cup is to A, be a sustainable option that you would say bring to your local cafe, Starbucks, coffee shop, wherever. Have them add your coffee, tea, whatever, and then be on your way. And with the silicone lid, which comes in a variety of different colors, you can just pop it on. And then I'll show you up close what it looks like. I mean, if you tipped it over, oh, I'm an idiot, um, you'll spill it on your rug. Um, even when you say have this hole covered. <laughs> so you'll want to press this down. It's not meant to be tipped over, even if you do have it pressed down. Oh, okay, I'm glad I did that again. I clearly didn't learn my lesson. So yes, guys, this is not a sippy cup. Um, I think I should clean myself up, but I'll just wrap up this review here. I really wanted to love the Keep Cup, and in many ways I do love it. I love it for the way it looks. Um, I think that the intention behind it is good. I mean, I, I think a big problem with a lot of travel mugs is that they kind of hide the aroma. So when you're sipping the coffee directly from the travel mug, you can't really pick up any of the, the flavor because your palate is essentially being blocked. This, in a way, opens it up more. You can really taste the flavor of the coffee. Um, so in that sense, it's good if you don't have the option of just carrying your mug on the subway, which I think would be a little weird, quite frankly. So this is kind of the alternative to doing that. It serves that purpose. Um, but if you're trying to keep your coffee hot, then it's not really going to do a good job. Um, if you tend to tip it over from time to time or get in crazy car accident, ugh, I don't want to say that. Um, if, if you're a little bit reckless with it, let me put it that way, like I just was over there, um, then it's not going to really prevent spills. Um, it's also quite expensive. I think it's like 25 bucks last I checked. So do I recommend it? Not really, unless you want a cute, somewhat overpriced cup then I say go for it, but otherwise I'm a little bit disappointed. I'll still use it all the time though. I know that sounds hypocritical, but I like brewing up some AeroPress in here. It's got the transparency, so that's cool. But frankly, I would have liked something that was maybe like a double wall of glass, um, a better lid that attaches a little bit more easily because this one, as you can see, it, it doesn't, well, it kind of attaches securely when you take it off. You never know what's going to happen. Um, so only do that when it's empty, I would say. So I think this is a punt, but I still got love for you, Keep Cup. Just improve the product a little bit, maybe make a better lid, um, keep the coffee hotter, and I think you've got something that is definitely worth buying.